G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Assassin's Creed Origins, but we do have today a video where Final Fantasy XV will feature in it. So today a user by the name of Manu Gonzalez on uh, Twitter posted a picture of him finding a bit of an evidence of Final Fantasy XV within Assassin's Creed Origins. So I'll put his Twitter handle down in the bottom and all credit goes to him for finding this originally, well, tipping me off to it anyway. So here I am just outside of Memphis. I'm uh, to the southwest of Memphis right now in the Saqqara Nome region and uh, I'm just down here on the blue arrow you can see there and I've come to a tomb here or what looks like what looks like the ruins of a tomb and there's actually a bit of a relief on the wall that you guys might recognize. Yeah, it stands out pretty obviously uh, among all the other hieroglyphs and stuff in the game. So if we take a bit of a peek in at it, if we zoom in a bit, you can see there very definitely we have Noctis on the right hand side with his classic like uh, Doc Martens on and that crazy ass hair as well as his pretty signature sword. It's not the engine blade but it is a sword that he wears on most of the cover art for the game. So there's a picture next to him that you can put kind of reference to it. It's, it's pretty obvious that it is Noctis. And then on the left we have Arden. You can tell by his fedora up there and also that type of that one winged uh, I guess it's kind of like an arm brace or a sleeve that he wears. Predominantly in uh, Kingsglaive, he is wearing that sleeve and has a reference picture here, so it's pretty obvious what they're referencing there. So recently in Final Fantasy XV, we did have a crossover event via the Assassin's Festival. So in that, it kind of hinted to the fact that the first Assassin was actually in in Final Fantasy XV universe somehow. I don't know if that's a canon thing or not, or whether it's just for crossover purposes. But this seems to allude to the fact that Assassin's Creed's origin is actually set after Final Fantasy XV or something. <laughs> I, I have no idea what this could possibly allude to, but I am hoping this means that we'll get future Final Fantasy XV content for this area. So in the middle, it looks like I think the top symbol is the Kingslave symbol, possibly. I'm not too sure about the middle one. Maybe it represents like a crystal or uh, the, the some type of crystal in the actual Final Fantasy XV. Or it could be something emerging out of a lotus flower or something like that. And then on the bottom, it looks like maybe it's a an eagle with some type of hat or something like that. I think that's often used to signify Ra or... Um, the god of gods maybe and then it's got a, a glaive or a uh, gladius next to it so i don't know maybe it's like a king's glaive another king's glaive type of reference or something i'm uh, i'm really not sure but i would really love to hear you the theories from you guys on it um usually i don't do these type of speculation and videos type of like that but i i really like this, this has piqued my interest an interesting thing about the uh, symbol up the top, it does have nine holes up there, as you can see. And when we have a bit of a look at the tomb around us, there's something interesting about it. So you can see these black, these pillars here, and they've got black like holes or uh, square holes on the top of them. There is nine of them in total, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're all like, radiating out from this center obelisk and from the ground you can see kind of points are drawn between the obelisk and each of these now i've tried using a fire bow to kind of light each of these on fire it doesn't really work at all well i can't get it to work um, i've tried hitting them with different weapons uh, club weapons uh, smashing them all that type of stuff they don't seem to really react to anything i've done also, the, the hieroglyphs that are kind of painted on up through them, looks like they're inlaid in gold as well. But none of them seem to really reference like any Final Fantasy things or none of them really give away, from what I can see, any tips or anything that might say, hey, there's a secret in here. What is interesting though is the fact that there is two little doorways underneath each of them. Now you can't interact with them in any way. When I hit them, nothing really happens to them at all. This one doesn't look accessible because of the dirt in front of it, but it's possible 
possible that this one may be accessible at some point. It could be that that is purely just the Easter egg, the, the relief up there, or it could be at some future date, DLC is gonna be added to Assassin's Creed Origin where we go in and maybe get uh, Noctis's weapon from the tomb. Because there has actually been some cover art for the Assassin's Festival where Noctis is holding um, Bayek's weapons and Bayek has Noctis's weapons. He's actually holding the engine blade. So possibly there's something on that. You can see on the obelisk, there's nothing really that alludes to any Final Fantasy type of glyphs or anything, as far as I'm aware. Um, I could be wrong. If you guys spot something that you think, oh wow, that, that seems like something, then uh, please leave it down in the comments. Um, but otherwise, I've tried being here as well at night, and nothing seems to be really different at night. We'll flick over to night when we can. So you can see here, it's very ob obvious that the the nine pillars with those black things are radiating out from this obelisk, kind of like the uh, the sun or something. So it looks quite good. You can see also the tomb or the structure that this uh, picture is underneath is actually quite, it goes quite a bit back into the mountain. It looks like the boundaries of it there. So it's quite a big structure. So I imagine if they did at some point want to open it up, they would have quite a bit to work with in there or at least they could fit a, a tomb or uh, maybe something similar to where we pick up the royal arms in Final Fantasy XV. Again, this is total speculation. They could they could do nothing with it, you know? But I'm kind of excited about the possibilities of it. I mean, we've seen some pretty ridiculous stuff in um, Assassin's Creed Origins already, like a, a unicorn with rainbow feet. So putting Noctis in here or Noctis' weapons really wouldn't be a stretch at all for this game. So there is quite a bit of a big structure around here. There's another like a tomb entrance here, but it is caved in. You can't actually go in there. I've tried hitting everything around it. I've also tr cl tried climbing all over this little pyramid um, or step pyramid, but I can't. Nothing seems to access there. The guys over on the little camp there don't really seem to say anything about it. And when you go into sin sinew mode or sinew mode as uh, I am this eagle, usually it will target and tell you that there's entrances to a tomb around, but I haven't been able to pinpoint any entrances to any tombs or anything like that. So as far as I can tell, this is inaccessible at the moment. I imagine though, if somebody has this on the PC, there would be some type of no clipping mode or uh, maybe someone could access the files a certain way so they could maybe uh, clip inside here and have a look if there is actually like textures inside the tomb or whether it just kind of drops off after that point or maybe if a PlayStation or Xbox user could kind of glitch inside there it'd be great to kind of get a look a bit of an early peek inside there but again this could mount to nothing uh, maybe that's the whole uh, the whole reference up there but it, it would seem like a bit of a waste because this whole structure thing does seem a bit elaborate just to have you know, a picture on the wall. So um, yeah, I think there's there's definitely possibilities for something to happen, but yeah. And, and like I said, there's been ponies or unicorns with rainbow feet and all sorts of weird, and you can be a mummy, you can dress up a mun as a mummy in this game. So I would f find it highly unlikely that they wouldn't have anything um, at all to reference Final Fantasy 15 in this. So um, it is still a possibility. Oh, so I said before that I'd go into night mode. I nearly forgot that. I'm recording this live, so it may be a bit raw. But uh, you can see here at nighttime, same deal, really. I've tried with different types of bows as well. Initially, I thought that the fires were actually working and they were lighting up. But it's just the fact that when you use a stronger bow, the light kind of persists a bit longer in there. But... You can see the fire doesn't take with these fire pits, which is a shame. Initially, I saw that fire there and I was like, whoa, it's working. And I tried hitting them all, but it turns out it's just my arrow <laughs> still there on fire. So nothing I really seem to do really. Uh, I've got nothing, no feedback out of any of these structures. So if you guys can work anything out or you got any ideas, then I'd be more than keen to try them out. Uh, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll give them a whirl. And if I do find anything or if the community in whole finds anything, I'll be sure to let you guys know. 
But anyway, I hope you guys found that interesting. A little bit of a different video for me. Um, I hope they do something with this. It would be pretty, pretty damn cool. But uh, if not, I will be seeing you guys in Comrades on the 7th of November. If you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions or any theories, then leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Uh, moo.